This is a quick 30-second introduction before the video of Abby and Brittany begins. Abigail and Brittany Hensel serve as perfect specimens for anyone interested in psychological causality. They have identical genes, but the apparent identical environmental circumstances are superficial because the differences in their brains, that is, the actual psychological difference between the girls, is caused by the differing environmental circumstances to which each twin has been exposed as individuals, starting from the time of their conception, but primarily after birth. Abby en Brittany hebben de controle over de helft van een gedeeld lichaam. Ze moeten voor elke beweging die ze maken samenwerken. Were you ever surprised at how coordinated they are? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess we were surprised how coordinated they were because uh, as soon as they started walking, uh, picked up balls, threw them left-handed, right-handed, played catch with a basketball, and they came along quite quickly, riding a bicycle. I mean, it, it took uh, two days after they got on their bicycle and. Uh, it wasn't a problem. Their balance was good. They could just about, uh, well, they could do just about anything. De meisjes weten heel goed hoe ze moeten samenwerken en niet alleen met elkaar. The girls are in uh, three, four different sports. They they play basketball, volleyball. Abby and Brittany want to take part in anything that is going on. today and we're here at our bedroom at 8.43, 3 p.m. It's the big night before our tournament, first tournament at Grand City. I wonder who's going to win. We're supposed to be there by 8.30, so we'll have to leave at 6. That's a long side. Anyway. And um, just really nervous. It's fun to watch them, isn't it? I actually got to go out and watch a volleyball game and watch them swim and, and play softball. And I marvel at their ability to know where the other one and what the other one is doing in place and time. It, it's phenomenal to me um, because, remember, if their spinal cords are fused at the pelvis, they have to somehow coordinate those impulses up to their brains individually, yet there's only one set of legs to run. Uh, my name is Linda Edmison. I'm the uh, first and second grade teacher here and also the um, basketball coach and volleyball coach. And anything else that needs a girl's coach, that's about what I do. Nice and easy, girls. I think when they first started school here, I was really concerned with, especially physical education, what can they do, what can't they do. And with conjoined twins, they're really, there's not a lot of information out there. And so I basically kind of just went with what they were capable of doing. And with Abby and Brittany, nothing's impossible. You can challenge them to anything.